Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's D. Lloyd. So DeAndre Ayton is also going to be another player that a lot of teams are going to be looking into this offseason, right? Coming off a season with the Phoenix Suns, which he had a pretty solid season. He is showing that he is still steadily improving as a player. However, the end of the year did not end too great. As a restricted free agent, that if a team offers a max contract to DeAndre Ayton, they may not be willing to to actually match that offer. So currently speaking, if the Phoenix Suns were to offer a max extension, DeAndre Ayton could receive five years, $176.9 million. I'm just gonna say $177 million, just for easy math, right? Basically 177 million over five years. If another team were to offer Ayton the max, that will be four years, $131 million. Now, of course, he could sign that offer sheet, and then the Phoenix Suns can come in and match that, but it looks like that may not happen. Now, if you're looking for a team that wants to go out there and, and maybe you know do their best to try to bring him in, a team like the Indiana Pacers are starting to come to mind, the San Antonio Spurs, right? They could be looking to shop around maybe the ninth pick, maybe the 21st pick to try to bring in DeAndre Ayton. But in this video, we're going to specifically talk about the Indiana Pacers because right now we are hearing that they are willing to move the sixth overall pick in the draft to try to bring in DeAndre Ayton. Now, it's interesting because the Pacers are a team that's kind of they never really have a true direction, right? It's like we're rebuilding, we're not rebuilding. Um, we're trying to go win a championship now. We're not really trying to go all in. That's typically how the Pacers work. That's kind of their MO, right? Uh, so they're in a situation now where you kind of thought that the Pacers were going to try to go through somewhat of a rebuild, right? There were speculations that maybe Russell Westbrook could be a one-year player in Indiana and they may ship away a Buddy Hield. Uh, they may ship away Miles Turner, kind of get out of some of those contracts, right? But you bring in a guy like DeAndre Ayton, you better be ready to try to compete because you have a young player that's very good, but he's going to cost you some things to try to make it happen so as of right now it looks like you know if the the Pacers don't you know um bring back Ricky Rubio which I don't think they will TJ Warren those guys they will allow those qualifying offers to expire that's fine let them go do their thing uh rescind those and now you're looking at about 25 million dollars in cap space so you, you do the quick math it's going to be about 32 33 million dollars to bring in deandre ayton so you still need to clear up some space so if you move the six overall pick that is cool in the sign of trade but you will still need to include a little bit more the current players on their roster that make over you know let's say six million dollars and makes things hap will happen tj mcconnell at eight million dollars uh, then you have miles turner who could potentially be tradable, right? That that could be a realistic piece if you're looking to bring in essentially a, a replacement. Then you have Buddy Hield at $20 million cap hit, then Malcolm Brogdon at 22.6. So maybe you try to do something with Miles Turner, get some cap space. Even if you trade him to another team, involve a third team in that deal, that could potentially be um, something that could happen. Um, Halliburton is a guy I don't think is a, a he's pretty much untouchable i will feel like for that young core and then nobody else is really worth shipping so the reports are saying that the pacers could potentially move that six pick i think they can along with something else i don't know a six pick of miles turner might be too that's too much for my blood but you know maybe they try to do something like that uh or they get a third team involved and they try to move you know another piece so they can make um you know the money work in 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 the math can math right so we'll ultimately see what happens i don't think that we're going to see deandre Aiden. initially i was thinking he would be back in in um phoenix but i'm starting to think that we're not going to see him back in phoenix with the interest that he is getting and that essentially now the phoenix suns are just going to take um sign and trade him to the highest bidder and try to get something back man so you guys let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below would you like to see Aiton with a team like the indiana pacers and what would you give up if you're the pacers to make that trade work to bring him in let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below is d lord i'm gonna see y'all next time peace